Carrie Kendall, nice to meet you. Playmate of the Year 1990. I wish I had been, but Lisa Matthews was Playmate of the Year. I'm Playmate Miss September. <laughs> the Superwoman dumped me, you know. She, uh, she dumped you? Yeah, she, she's marrying the Incredible Hulk. That's right. <laughs> Former football player. That's right. By being in Playboy, what, what, is, what has that given you as, as far as, like, um, Career. Things careerized. Which Actually, I've never been a career model or a career actress. I've always had a regular job as well as being a playmate. But it's also offered me a lot of opportunity to travel to places that I never would have been able to go before. Um, I have a website now. That's something that I wouldn't have been able to do if I weren't a playmate. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You meet a lot of people like yourself. <laughs> What's your, what, what was your real job? My real job, I've had many real jobs. I'm actually a licensed hairstylist, and when I first did Playboy, I was working in an outpatient surgery center in San Diego. So I'm jack of many trades, master of none. <laughs> jack of all trades, hmm? Well-rounded in every sense of the word. Well, are you, what are you talking about? No, <laughs> I, I got some problems with my hair. Can you, can you do anything with this? <laughs> hey, any 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 way we can swap spit, that's fine with me. Is, you know, just, 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 I don't care what you do, just do it. Expect to see on the website. Uh, my website, carriekendall.com and .net, is brand new right now. Uh, you'll see lots of photos on there. Um, lots of, I have a section called Hot Talks, which is really fun. It's like a sexual Dear Abby, where my members can um, type in questions that they've always wanted to ask a woman or a playmate or me in general. And I'm really frank, really honest with the answers. It's, that one's a lot of fun. Um, I'll have a section called Erotic or Erratic, which is like sexual trivia that I gather, you know, just throughout the world. Interesting. Um, interesting practices that people do, and you decide whether you think it's erotic or erratic, you know, it's up to you. And uh, we have sound bites, we have video, everything, whatever you, and I always encourage my members to send me in suggestions. So. Well, here's a question for you. How does it make you feel uh, knowing that somebody in this, somewhere, somewhere around the world is looking at your magazine and and just and masturbating and I've had that question <laughs> well I wasn't gonna say that I'm just, say that. I read the I'm one of the few men who read the articles in Playboy <laughs> <laughs> now we know that's a lie. Uh -huh. actually and Playboy's I, a great magazine yeah, yeah it is it, I love the jokes well, it is a well written I love the jokes Playboy Advisor you have to like Playboy Advisor come on no, um, actually I, I have answered that question in my hot talk section and basically what I say is that um, there I have to choose my way of looking at things. There's going to be positive and negative to everything. If I'm helping someone out in that way and they're enjoying this, that, that's fine. I have no problem with masturbation. Of course, there's going to be some people that are a little bit um, mentally unhealthy that are doing that. But if I choose to focus on that, then I'm going to make myself miserable. Danny? That guy behind the Oops, camera. <laughs> my tooth. <laughs> I ruined her career. It's that's over. Good. I'm suing no. you. No. Every single one of us Playmates has our own fan base, people that are absolutely loyal to us, and it feels so good when um, they write to you or when you meet them at shows like this. There are a lot of people that I've corresponded with through the mail for years, you know, or through email, and when I come to these shows and get to finally meet them in person, it's really, really a lot of fun. You, plus, what about plus, stalkers, though? You ever get... Yeah. Um, I've, I've had a few instances. Um, I haven't had many stalkers, but I have had somebody mail a dead puppy to Playboy Chicago with a birthday card. Puppy. puppy? Yeah, I didn't get it. They mailed it to Chicago and they intercepted it, but with the birthday card. Um, my, the I was reason? my birthday month. I, maybe it was alive when you mailed it. I don't know. <laughs> Did you mail in a box or something? Apparently. I, I, luckily, I didn't receive it. <laughs> no kidding. Well, yeah, well, well, you know, I mean, I, I think that um, every every human being would like to be admired by the opposite sex and obviously you know you I'm sure you have tons and tons of admirers out there for any RC viewer out there who uh, who's watching the show right now and uh, and are looking at you and wants you to know the big question are you single am I single? I'm not married never been married no children uh, are you single <laughs> I'm single Ooh. Uh, anyways, anyways. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, 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 obviously. <laughs> Super, Su Superman is, is, is melting before your eyes right here. Uh, I thought it was Kryptonite. Um, anyways. Um, 
what planet are we in right now? <laughs> he asked the story of my life. All the jocks used to push me around and get all the beautiful cheerleader girls. And, and I was the poet, the very sensitive one. And, and I get pushed, you know. So, but anyways. Anyways, it's working. It's working. You know, <laughs> you know I'm, very, I'm a very gullible person, you know. But so, in reality, w reality check, what are my chances? No, skew it to me straight. Like one in a thousand. Mm. What, what year is this? 1999. I'm booked up through 2010 right now, so how many would that be? Taking a year? So, taking them? Yeah. there is a chance. Absolutely. Yeah.